Hi, I'm Jan, and I get to read you this cool book today. So I guess I better put on my glasses. The name of the book is Hal and the New Kid. And this is Hal. He's a hedgehog. And this is Ava, and she's a fluffy white sheep. Hal's favorite friend in the world is Ava. Ava had the warmest laugh, she gave the wooliest hugs, and she had the best ideas for fun things to do. Hal and Ava played together almost every day. They stacked rocks by the stream. They picked flowers by the path. Sometimes they even went to the garden to eat the grapes right off the vine. But one day, Hal went to the stream to look for Ava and found her playing with someone else. Someone new. This is my new friend, Joe, said Ava. Come play with us, Hal. But Hal didn't know Joe. He wasn't one of Hal's friends. Let's splash in the stream, Joe said. Sounds like fun, said Ava. Come on, Hal. But Hal didn't want to splash in the stream. He wanted to stack rocks. So Hal sat down near the water's edge and began to stack rocks by himself. He wished that Ava would join him so his rock pile would grow faster. But she was too busy splashing with Joe. And it does look like they're having a good time, doesn't it? Now let's play in the grass by the path, Joe suggested. Great idea, said Eva. Hal, let's go. But Hal didn't want to play in the grass. He wanted to pick flowers. So Hal started picking flowers by himself. He found a colorful one that Ava might like, and he turned to show it to her. But she was too busy playing in the grass with Joe. Now let's go swing on those trees, Joe shouted. Okay, said Ava. Hal, come swing with us. But Hal didn't want to swing on the trees. He wanted to eat grapes. See, there's the grapes right there. So Hal started eating all alone. If only Ava knew how plump and juicy the grapes were today. But she was too busy swinging with Joe. I guess Ava's not my friend anymore, thought Hal. I guess she just likes Joe now. Hal walked away and sat behind the big rock. Two big hedgehog tears rolled right down his cheeks. Soon Ava was looking for Hal and she found him behind the rock. What's wrong, Hal? she asked. Why are you crying? Well, I'm sad because you don't want to play with me anymore, said Hal. Ever since Joe came around, you only want to play with him. Ava sat down next to Hal. That's not true, Hal, she said. You're one of my very best friends. You always make me laugh with your funny jokes and you're fun to play with. And every time I see you, I want to give you a big hug. Really, Hal asked? Really, said Ava. But you know, Joe's a lot of fun, too. I bet if you gave him just a chance, you'd like him. Well, that takes courage, but he'd, he was going to try. So he wiped the tears from his cheeks, and he closed his eyes, and he said a prayer. Dear God, meeting someone new isn't easy. Please help me make new friends so we all can have fun and be happy together. Amen. When Hal opened his eyes, there was Joe 
peering around the other side of the rock. What's going on, he asked. Well, Hal took a deep breath and he looked up and put a smile on his face and said, I'm playing a hiding game. And guess what? You found me. I did, Joe asked. I've never played this game before. What happens now? Now you have to catch me, Hal said. And Hal jumped to his feet and ran away. And Ava and Joe chased after him. And the three friends laughed and played together in the garden for the rest of the day until the sun went down. I don't think I can say the end because I think it's just the beginning. It's the beginning of many new friendships for Hal. And you know, the gift of friendship is one of the best things God gave us. Have you ever felt like Hal? I have. It's hard sometimes. But Jesus showed us what to do. He told his apostles, love one another as I have loved you. So if you're feeling left out or just shy, ask for help, just like Hal did. Dear God, meeting someone new isn't easy. Please help me make new friends so we can all have fun and be happy together. Amen.